from the time of arrest to a courtroom. This is the experience that it goes through and what it's all about, the SESTA QV Trust, as I mentioned before. Okay, from the beginning, you have to do understand that there's two forms of man on earth. There's the sons of God and there's the children of Israel. There's a big difference. And this is going to take you from the trip from the arrest to the courtroom when a police officer comes up to you. A police officer is speaking legalese. Legalese is a mystical language made up of uh, three different languages. It's made up of English, it's made up of Latin, and it's made up of ancient Greek. Uh, that's where the words come from. If you know about Aleister Crowley, what he says about Latin and ancient Greek is that there are two mystical languages. Latin's very powerful, but ancient Greek is more powerful than that. Aleister Crowley also mentions, and this is all in the uh, Aleister Crowley's Book of Magic and Theory and Practice, and it says that ancient Egyptian is even more powerful of the three. Well, when uh, someone says, do you uh, understand the charges you're being presented against? They're entering into a contract by saying, yes, yes, I do. Uh, they're entering into their contract saying, yes, I do stand under these charges. I am admitting guilt. Knights of Templar is the police officer that would be there. They would be charging them. Knights of Templar are children of Israel that made it to level three Freemasons. What they did is they performed the five and 68 degree ritual. Within that ritual, they do 25 banishings. One of those 25 banishings is saying the Lord's Prayer in reverse two times. What that does, it the Lord's Prayer is Jesus' protection over you. And by saying it in a reverse order, uh, you take that prayer away from yourself. You take away Christ's protection. And um, what they do is they're Knights of Templar and they reincarnate into positions of power. Positions of power being police officers serving the public, being uh, attorneys serving the public. Any defense attorney, of course, speaking on the behalf of Israel would be a child of of Israel themselves, lights a Templar, speaking legalese. And uh, when you go to a Masonic Lodge, like I said, that they uh, level three Freemasons, it's always a Shriners Lodge, and you're always going to see that they're the 32nd degree. Why are they the 32nd degree? They're looking to achieve the 33rd degree. That's uh, what is brought forth. It's uh, perfection. The number 33 is a perfection in this realm. Or a third, a third, and a third that is waiting. That's uh, Aleister Crowley when he uh, describes the tree of life. If you ever look at the image and what it is, okay, we see two thirds of that life, but that's for another video, of course. Okay, now stories in the Bible, when you come across like the story of Moses, they're ancient stories, but those ancient stories reflect the modern world. When you go into a courtroom, what you are doing, you are appearing in front of it. an Egyptian. It may not be the Egyptian pharaoh, but it is of that region. What happened, the Torah says, after Moses split the Red Sea and uh, destroyed the Egyptians, the Egyptians were reinstated in providences around the world into positions of power, and that's who they are today. Everything that I'm telling you right now is basically at the end of the Torah, and it's all in the hidden books of the Old Testament. I can show it all to you, or you could look for yourself and read those books. Okay, uh, coming next, what, what is the courtroom? Well, courtroom, of course, like I said many times before, what they are are dolmens of druids. A dolmen being just like Stonehenge is a dolmen. A dolmen of druids, it's a, a religious land, religious grounds that you're on. And they're committing acts of holy war against the children of Israel by violating their trust with God. All courtrooms are tribunals. Laws do not matter there. You ever speak to a police officer about law? They usually have no clue. They just basically do what they're told, okay, and do whatever they think. And uh, like I said, they come against their own people. They're an enemy to their own people. That's what the Knights of Templar Agreement is all about. Okay, now when you go in and they arrest you, okay, you agree to contract, you go in, they then put you into another contract. Contract, they give you a signature, here, sign this, okay, okay, you're accepting another contract. 
Take a photograph, you're accepting another contract. Take your fingerprints, you're accepting another contract. You're admitting guilt for what you what they're being charged with. Okay, then you appear in front of a, a judge. And when you appear in front of a judge, first thing that they're going to ask you is your name. He's going to call you by your trade name, which is your name in all capital letters, declaring that you are a state-owned enterprise. Second thing that they'll do is ask you your address. These two actions are to verify that they have jurisdiction over you. You agree to these things. You agree that they have jurisdiction over you. So, of course, uh, when they come in, it's the trade name. Trade name, hello, Mr. And Mrs. Smith. You answer to it, yes, you're identifying yourself as a state-owned enterprise, giving them jurisdiction. Okay, of course, um, if you sign anything, okay, you take orders from them. Those are all things that are entering into their contract. You've got to remember that it's holy war. And uh, you look at these flags. Look at these flags that I'm showing you right now. These are all wartime flags. You see that eagle on top. What that represents is the Assyrians that stands on top. You see the United States flag. That is a wartime flag. The stripes, the stripes of Jesus Christ means punishment. If you put it to the side, it's a fassy symbol. The red encase the white. Red's aggressive. The white is the pure. The stars represent 50 stars, 50 percent completion, and it's the starry universe. The starry universe, and if you also know about the demerge and the 49 pig-faced demons, the 50 stars, that's what it represents. Look in the middle at state of Texas. What do you see? You see a pentagram. That's what it is. That's what it is, folks. That's You're going into a realm of the Druids. That's what they are. This is an act of holy war.